This time, he turned the gaze inward, addressing the controversial issue of alleged sexual abuses in the Anglican Church. I cannot stand here with integrity and point to the speck in my neighbor's eye if I don't see the law in my own eye. In the past few weeks, a number of individuals have spoken out, either publicly or privately, to give accounts of being abused in Anglican parishes when they were young boys in the 1970s and the 1980s. I cannot pass judgment on these accounts. That can be done only in the proper tribunals, where those accused have the right to defend themselves. And if charges are brought and upheld under church law, I would have to handle any appeal. So I must not prejudge matters. I also cannot say reliably how widespread abuse may have been in the church. My impression is that it has involved only a tiny minority of those licensed to minister, but I'm still waiting for the bishops across the church to notify me of cases brought to their attention. But no matter how many cases there may have been, we should welcome and embrace the newly found willingness by some to speak out, and we must use it as an opportunity to address the issue.